What is the significance to have a launch of a new model that might be built in India if you're going to be buying it? Yes, yeah, so, so not the first time they build phones in India, but the first time on launch day it will be available if the, if the news is correct. And so I think you know, this is uh, a significant direction of travel for Apple, that it's kind of diversifying its production away from the China dominance. Obviously, with everything going on with attention through China, I think that's very important to reinsure investors that they have supply chain resilience. Uh, and I think we'll expect to see uh, India become a larger part of the kind of production. So I think it's a, it's a significant uh, kind of vote of confidence, if you like, of Apple in India's ability to produce uh, phones to the quality it needs and that its customers expect. The ability to produce, but also the ability to sell. Alex, when you look at the ability for them to bring in customers after such a long slump, what is this new set of releases going to mean for them to start to turn the trajectory around? I think the really fascinating thing is going to be pricing, right? Because the, the least price sensitive are inevitably the people who are going to be buying the pro lineup. What we're seeing, at least according to our colleague Mark German's reporting, is they're going to be doing a few things around the edges with the pros, a little bit more functionality, a titanium uh, case shell, which, will, which should enable them to charge an even more premium price at the very high end. And as we've seen stagnating unit sales, it's the ability to squeeze more more dollars out of the units that they do sell, which is really able to, to help support the top line.